forward head posture and rounded shoulders, a direct result of modern technology, which while making our lives easier in many ways, has come with a clear health cost. But what if the culprit could also be the cure? Some new tech products are indirectly addressing the very issue they've helped create. As a sports scientist with a particular interest in injuries, I've been actively seeking out these solutions. I want to show you the ones I've found most helpful and have adopted to improve my posture. Now, it's pretty obvious how modern tech has influenced our posture. It encourages a downward gazing forward head posture with rounded shoulders. But if I'm being fair, Books, pen and paper have done the same for thousands of years. The key difference lies in the duration of use. Historically, physical labor, low literacy rates and the absence of artificial lighting limited reading and writing time. Today, technology not only dominates our daily activities, but eliminates the need for physical exertion. We can work, eat, learn, socialize and entertain ourselves without moving, often maintaining a poor posture for extended periods. In 2022, it was recorded that the average consumer in America spent 13 hours and 5 minutes per day in front of a display, according to Statista. So the problem is not so much the tech itself, but the duration and the frequency we are using it. Before exploring the solutions, let's understand why maintaining a forward head posture for hours is detrimental to our health. A forward head posture can significantly impact our health in three ways. The first is an increase in spinal strain. The head in a neutral position places approximately 12 pounds of load on the spine. This load can increase by up to 60 pounds at a 60 degree forward head tilt, according to a 2014 study. That's a 5x increase in neck strain compared to neutral. The second issue is reduced breathing efficiency. A forward head posture stiffens the upper back and compresses the abdominal cavity. So instead of getting a deep expansion of the ribcage and abdomen for a full breath, breathing mechanics change to a shallower concentrated area around the upper chest. The third and final issue blew my mind a bit. A study of 42 individuals revealed that a forward head posture decreases testosterone and increases cortisol levels. The authors suggest that good posture or what they call a high power pose may create a sense of authority and confidence in a person, while a bad posture or low power pose does the opposite. These psychological changes can then go on to alter one's physiology. In this case, that's to disrupt hormonal levels. Now, just imagine the long-term side effects of having five times the load on your spine, a difficult time breathing, and low testosterone. No wonder posture videos get millions of views. I think people can inherently sense that their posture is doing them a lot of harm. So we need solutions. I'm using the following tech to fix my posture. The Apple Vision Pro is not just the world's best AR VR headset for doing serious work. It's also the best device for promoting good posture. Here's a comparison of my posture in my traditional setup versus using the Vision Pro for work. Notice the difference? With the Vision Pro, my hands never have to come together, keeping my shoulders externally rotated and my upper back retracted in their strongest and most stable position. Additionally, all my virtual screens can be adjusted to eye level, eliminating the need to look down and avoid a forward head posture. To optimize further, I can place my virtual screens around the room and walk between them, promoting extra movement throughout the workday. Now, you might be thinking, but Chris, this device sits on your face and weighs a ton. It's bound to cause neck strain. My response, when the head is in a neutral position, it can handle loads far better than when it's out of position. Having used the Vision Pro for hours each day, I can say from experience that as long as I keep my digital displays in an ergonomic position to promote good posture, the weight hasn't been an issue at all. Next piece of tick. The Ray-Ban Meta Glasses has helped my posture by reducing my screen time. I use them for taking calls, getting notifications read aloud, listening to podcasts and music, and even composing WhatsApp messages, my go-to chat app. While earbuds can handle most of these tasks, the Meta Glasses have a unique advantage. They don't isolate me from my surroundings like earbuds do. This makes them much more convenient to wear throughout the day. Another standout feature is the camera system. Instead of pulling out my phone, just look and 
shoot. As long as there is enough light, the quality is pretty good. The glasses also come with Meta's AI assistance, which can give you info on the things you're looking at. This assistant will undoubtedly get more capable and useful over time. Overall, I think these glasses are a great piece of tech. They replace your regular glasses, earphones, and help reduce time spent hunched over the screen. Now for some software solutions. Speech to text technology has been a game changer for my posture. Since I don't know how to touch type, I usually have to hunch over my devices and look at my keys while I'm pressing. But with voice dictation, I simply speak to the device and it transcribes everything. This feature is native to most operating systems found on the keyboards. Here's a test on my iPad. All right, so yes, text to speech. Real live example on my iPad. The feet are the foundation of the body. To build strong feet, head over to bfs.fit. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Perfect. Now, an unexpected benefit is that it's given me the opportunity to improve my speaking. If I don't articulate well, I get penalized for having to spend extra time editing the mistakes afterwards by hand. ChatGPT has improved my posture. Whenever I have a lengthy idea or monologue to record, instead of hunching over my keyboard, I stand up straight or go for a walk and record voice notes through the ChatGPT app. Then I ask AI to summarize everything into bullet points, which I can paste into my notes. It's the most accurate form of voice to text I've seen. These features powered by large language models have vast potential. There's also an emerging class of AI assistants that's utilizing large action models to automate more complex and repetitive workflows. Imagine a bot that reads through all of your unread emails, selects the ones needing responses and creates draft replies. You would only need to review and edit the drafts before sending them. Using these methods, you'll spend significantly less time hunched over your screen compared to traditional approaches. Future Tech promises to be more hands-free and spine-sparing, which is great news. But until then, there's a lot we can do to improve our current workflows. You've probably seen those posture-saving standing desks. I have one, and while they're great, replacing your old desk with one of these can be quite expensive. I found a better solution. Keep your existing desk and then add an affordable under $50 aluminum desk extension. It can transform any table into a standing desk with adjustable legs that fit various heights. Plus, it's lightweight and portable. I've taken mine on trips and it's been a game changer. I'll share the Amazon link below. I have another simple hack for improving your work setup. You can use your TV to improve your posture while working. Just place it on the wall or on a high cabinet so that it can be viewed in an ergonomic position. Then connect your laptop via HDMI and you have a nice and wide external display setup that promotes good posture. Here's the difference between not using the TV as an external monitor and using it as my work display. An additional benefit is that if you already have the TV, the setup won't come at any extra cost other than buying the HDMI cable, of course. All right, now for the tip I think is the most universal and critical on our list. Can you guess what it is? The best way to fix your posture is to wear flat shoes. After all, the feet are the foundation of the body. High heels disrupt this foundation by elevating the feet on one side, shifting the body center of mass forward onto the toes. This causes a cascade of adjustments throughout the body as it tries to regain balance, resulting in poor posture. A better choice would be zero drop shoes, which have no heel elevation and support a more neutral posture. To find zero drop shoes, check out our new website, Find My Shoes. It's a comprehensive database of the world's healthiest footwear, all of which meet the zero drop criteria. The site allows you to filter by shoe type, compare features between shoe models, and find discounts on the top brands. Our goal is to make healthy footwear accessible to the whole world. You can find your shoes by scanning the QR code, clicking the link in the description, or using the short URL bfs.fit. Also, give us feedback on the site in the comments. Okay, now onto the final tip. This piece of tech can help you recover from a day of bad posture. It's a friction-based portable pull-up bar that can be installed between any two walls or door frame without drilling holes. What makes a pull-up bar such a great posture recovery tool is that it puts you in the exact opposite shape you tend to spend all day in. 
by hanging. Gravity also assists in aligning the upper back with the shoulders and hands. This is literally nature's free chiropractor. I'm currently reading a book by a well-known orthopedic surgeon who discovered that hanging is an effective exercise for helping people recover from various types of shoulder injuries related to bad posture. The best way to hang is with a supinated or underhand grip. This position counters the pronated or overhand posture we often maintain throughout the day. Personally, whenever I feel a bit jacked up on top, the first thing I do is hang. It's my favorite way to reset my posture. If you know of any other posture correction tech, let us know in the comments for the benefit of the whole community. Check out our content here, our website here, and I'll see you there.